Hi, I'm Muhammad Usman. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install OCX file, DRL file using command prompt, administrator writes command prompt, and also using contacts menu. In this demo, I will show you uh, comdlg32.ocx file, the same method to install the DRL file. Um, you can download this OCX file from Google search. It's free to download. These two files you can download from my website. Copy this OCX file into system thatif directory. If you install your OS on E drive or D drive means or some other drive, uh, go to the system32 and paste it. Now I'm going to show you how to install using command prompt as administrator writes. See that the command prompt is now running as administrator. Now type R E G S V -E O 32 location of the OCX file. The file is installed success. Now I will show you in uninstall. Just add slash view. The MDSN DC is required to run the software. The OSX file I will restart it. It will show the error message because I unregistered the OCX file. Now the file is ACX MDS and DC is working properly. If you have the same problem running this software means follow this procedure. Now I will show you how to run how to install using contacts mono. How to install OCX file using contacts mono. Install this registry key and copy this batch file. C drive don't rename it if you rename this means you must not add any space on it now I'm going to uninstall if I start it it will show the error message now I'm going to install the same procedure for installation for DLL file also. You can also use capital I or small i. If you want to change the name of the batch file means for a, if you change the location of the batch file means just go to the registry editor. And go to the OCX file location, OCX key. And then paste the exact location. I'm going to copy the location and paste it. After that, you can install install the same method. If you change the name, for example, I'm going to change add a space means it will not work properly. Copy the location. It will not. Add a space. Hit OK. It will not work properly. So if you change the location or direction means you don't don't add any space to the OCS or DLL file. Space just paste to the C drive for example. If you install in C drive means just go and paste it. If you install E drive means just go and paste it and change the location. 
uh, E drive or C drive file location. Don't rename it. If you rename it, don't add any space. It won't work properly. The same method for DLL file also. Go to this key location. Change the location or E drive or D drive. The same method to install the DLL file also. That's it. Thank you for watching.